<laughs> I'm trying to set up lighting in this tiny little bathroom. It's not working. Okay, that I just come to the conclusion that, that won't work. That's the best it's gonna get. Okay, okay no, there's a cat. Get out of the bathroom, please. Hey guys, it is me Lorraine for your Wednesday again and today I am going to turn myself into a living Mickey Mouse. The thing is, I looked up images of Mickey Mouse and there's not very many features to his face except that I could draw on a nose. Oh wait, does Mickey Mouse have eyebrows? Mickey Mouse doesn't even have eyebrows. <laughs> I'll fix that. You're welcome. Anyways, so I realized I don't even have Mickey Mouse ears. So I'm gonna make some. But I worked on this lighting very hard and it's like shining on one side. And it's a small bathroom, so like, don't judge me. I would have better lighting if I had more space. Barely any space in here. And I'm literally balancing my tripod in the sink. You're welcome. So I have my hot glue over here. So I forget what you call this, but I got some matte black paper. <laughs> So, I need to cut a perfect circle. I'm just gonna try my best. DIYs are definitely not a thing that I am good at. Hey, check out my, oh. No, that doesn't look like a Mickey Mouse ear at all. Let's try this again. Why don't I know how to do things properly? I don't understand. I probably should have looked up a video on how to do these things. Um, I don't wear headbands very often, so I just found this like little plastic. <laughs> thing that looks pretty terrible i'm going to the mountains tomorrow i'm supposed to be packing right now a little bit lumpy it works okay so <laughs> sure so i think i'm gonna cut like a little bit off of the bottom oh no anyways as i was saying i'm gonna cut a bit off the bottom oh i think i got it guys Alrighty, so i got my first ear oh guys i have a mess to clean up after this someone Help. Gosh, this looks so bad. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying. Oh, that's that's my ears. You're welcome. Okay, so now I'm unplugging my hot glue because we are done with the ears. Now, I'm doing my face makeup to create the base. Take whatever you blend with if you're doing face makeup too. Um, it's not rocket science. I use a beauty blender. You could use a brush, whatever. But I just dampen my beauty blender and I squish it out, squish all the water out. People who do professional makeup and stuff would hate for this. But I start off with my concealer, just like, I think this is so wrong, but if you have like little red dots or whatever, I just go with concealer first to put it on the little dots that you wanna cover up. I don't know if this is the proper way or not. I don't know anything about it. Oh yeah, the concealer I use is the QO Cushion Concealer. Uh. It has the little spongy thing. So, um, I'm not gonna know the names of all my makeup and stuff because some of it I've had forever and you know, it doesn't really have a label on it. I'm gonna put it, I put it like at the very top of my eyelids too. Maybe I'll make this a bit taller. Alrighty, so I just blended all that out. Now I'm going in with the foundation. So I have the Gosh. BB Cream Foundation Primer, all in one. I'm just reading the what it says because I don't even know what I have. Then I put it on my face. Um, I did I have done a couple like makeup tutorials on um, uh, Oh My Gosh TV, aka this channel, and they were pretty bad looking back on them. What I did, like I did wings on one of them. One was like up here, the other was like straight. It was not good did i already do my eyelids yeah i probably already put foundation on my eyelids whatever i'll do it again i put too much foundation on my hair and now i'm just wasting it help me then i take my concealer do under eye i made those way too tiny whatever and then i highlight my nose right there make a little triangle there i mean yeah that's that's it you're welcome now blend i mean i should probably get more of a creamy concealer than this one now it kind of covers up the dark circles and you look like a princess i'm trying to put effort into this but it's just not working so now i take my face powder which is the marcel i think that's how you say it face powder so just shake it a few times to get some out no it's not facing the now I got some of the powder on the wrong side when this is the side I I 
have a problem well yeah whatever I'll just use the side that you're not supposed to use I mean and I'll go right under my eyes so people do a thing called baking but for me I just wipe the powder on I just do what works it's like I don't I don't do anything professional I just do what works for me I have this professional blush 10 color blush palette so it's like really colorful and you yeah, know since it's Mickey Mouse and he's a cartoon character I'm gonna use the brightest pink in this palette. I, I've always wanted to use this, but okay. I just want some little Mickey Mouse pink cheeks. Okay, so my cheeks are pink, and so I have my handy dandy toilet paper roll that I clean off my brushes on. I guess with my brows, like, he doesn't even have eyebrows, but when you do your makeup, I mean, when I do it, I usually just do my brows. So for my brows, I use an eyeshadow palette. I use the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. Because it does the job, it has all these brown colors. I usually use this one and this one. If I have really dark makeup, I add very little of this dark color, mix with the brown, but I use these two. So I'm just gonna do very light. Take your brush and wipe it off on your toilet paper roll. So I'm going to be using the iStudio Maybelline Gel Liner for my nose. It's coming along, friends. Now that I got the nose. Now guess what I'm doing? I am taking some just pencil eyeliner taking my brush so that there's a little top layer of the eyeliner and I'm putting it underneath my eye okay this looks ridiculous darn it I got some eyeliner on my cheek I didn't mean to okay you know what let's add some mascara to this that's one thing I think I can do without messing up so I'm gonna curl my lashes without chopping them off then I take my mascara which is the CoverGirl Professional Mascara. I don't, I think that's the name anyways, like. Oh. That's one thing I think I can do without messing up. Awesome. <laughs> you have to be kidding me right now. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do now? <laughs> mascara up there, I hate this. I am going to put lip balm on to help my crusty lips. I'm taking some lip liner, it's the Annabelle Rose lip liner I don't not even like it's old what I like to do now after I like put color on my lips or something I take my powder and I dab it on my lips because then it makes them like matte and I like how it looks ew there's eyeliner there too let this hair down guess who looks fantastic this girl I don't know if this is a fail or not like it's Pretty messy. <laughs> so the shout out from last week goes to Muffet Nugget. Pin thing last week was DIY and you got it right, so congratulations. My camera's gonna die, I'm trying to go really quick. My social medias are all right there. So go and follow and subscribe and stuff. Uh, subscribe, follow if you'd like. My YouTube channel is Literary Sunshine, but you can also click at the end of this video to go to my YouTube channel. So I'd be very happy if you did that. And your camera's gonna die, but thanks for watching. Tell me down below if you thought this was a fail or if I did this right, cause like it doesn't look terrible. I thought it would, but my ears are kinda messed up. But just let me know what you think. I will see you guys all next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.